Uh, today uh, we're going to show you a uh, Beretta uh, shotgun service on a WLL. Uh, this little WLL has just come in, it's a little 20 bore. Um, there's a few little issues that we've noticed on the gun already. Um, we've done a visual inspection of the barrels to make sure there's no dents or obstructions caused by um, you know being bashed or damaged. Uh, we've also checked the ribs uh, that you know they're sometimes quite a common thing on Berettas. That the uh, people in the shooting, you know, especially in a cage, that the ribs get bashed or knocked, uh, that's all fine. We've also done a visual inspection of the stock, just around here. Make sure the hand, it's all, it's all. It, there's no cracks or anything you think. Well, you know, the wood could be just a bit too hard up. We will just look at that a little bit further once we take it off the stock. But um, as a start, it's that, that those sort of areas are fine. We're now. Um, I'm just going to put some snap caps in and just going to check the ejector timing, and we're going to check the trigger pulls while the gun is all together. So by doing it really slowly like that, you can see that the timing is out on the barrels and the top barrel at the moment is right at the death of opening so it's it's only it's it's only ejecting if you force the gun right open which could cause an issue so in the middle of a drive or you're shooting some plays when the gun gets hot it could change it again and uh, with that we need to adjust that as part of the service i've also just checked the auto safe because this is a gain gun it has got an auto safe auto safe and it's important to uh, make sure that auto safe is functioning correctly so as we can see, the auto safe is functioning correctly. Also on this gun, it's got it's got a fairly nasty opening actually, and we're going to have to have a little look at that and just see why it's it's quite stiff on the opening, and we'll we'll look at that as part of the service. Right. So. First thing for me is I'm going to strip the barrels down and I'm going to sort of clean all the barrels, just go over all this and make sure the extractors and everything are running smoothly and freely and cleanly. And we'll just go, we'll go through all that now. So it's the first part. In our jaws, we use lead, lead jaws. Um, so we don't damage any of the metal components. Uh, and also we use corks for holding the barrels so we don't crush them. Also the same with the, uh, the stocks these special cork jaws. I'm using a 2000 grade paper, which is nothing, but all it is, is we're just cleaning. There's a little bit of rust on the face. And we're just cleaning, cleaning the rust off so it's all clean. So I'm just checking, checking through the barrels, um, checking the chambers for any rust. Uh, you've got to be careful about cleaning chambers. You don't want to over polish chambers, but if there is rust in there, you need to neutralize it. Otherwise it's going to get worse. Um, a lot of guns are chrome lined, Brettas are, but often enough, the chambers aren't chrome lined and you can have problems with that because what they do is they chamber the, they chrome line the whole tube first and then they'll, cut out the chambers afterwards which cuts out the chrome lining so um, you have to be it's, a, it's something you sh it should be just you should take uh, extra care with regarding maintenance with, with keeping your chambers clean polishing it, all the muck off the muzzles really it's just basically just just to keep it clean when you got open uh, areas of bright steel you just need to make sure there's no rust on there there was just a few flecks of rust and I was just cleaning that off I'm trying to scrub out the the lead from in front of the chamber and often enough with a lot of cartridges today um, 
you get a certain amount of lead buildup, especially with these higher pressure loads. Usually, because we haven't, um, we use a air compressor um, to, sort of, and we wash all this out with paraffin, and then we'll clean it all out with an air compressor and blow all the muck out. Just get helps get out the holes, um, especially where the these little points here, which is where the locking lugs um, engage. So we're just going to clean all the extractors off and make sure there's no no burrs. Beretta 20 bores can notoriously be uh, poor for ejection. Um, again, you know, a lot of that is down to these fairly large cartridges that people are wanting to use uh, more and more so these days, which, which have a huge amount of pressure. And thus, it's crucially crucial that we make these uh, these ejectors run as silky smooth as possible. So just clean them over. few speckles of rust on the face, we're just cleaning those off. And this is virtually ready to be put back in. We'll clean the ejector springs. The ejector springs um, on these guns actually seem to have quite a reasonable amount of power. Sometimes after a period of time, because the, the gun is always closed, there's always compression on the spring, and sometimes they, they just, after a period of time, the spring sets in the, in the closed position and they just lose a certain amount of power, so they often need replacing, but these are actually pretty good. So we're just gonna go through and clean all the muck out the springs. Top barrel on this particular gun was running a little bit late, so I'm just gonna give its first little adjustment now, and when we put the gun back together, hopefully it will just, it will just speed up. I've just basically polished the sear edge because it was quite scuffed. So we're just trying to make it make it run a little bit faster. And give this a little polish. <laughs> 